Yeah, so a few things. Um, you know, we, we talked about it before the game that we came here to get a win, and that was the goal of today. And uh, really praised Markeef and Patty for their leadership, guiding that group out there, uh, making big plays uh, across the board. A lot of guys stepped up. We needed everybody, every minute worth. And uh, unbelievable effort. Our game plan, um, you know, was challenged at the beginning of the game. Jalen Smith makes two threes, and instead of us questioning the game plan, we stayed steadfast and believed in what we were trying to do for the course of the night. They made runs. Uh, we made runs back at them. Uh, but I really felt that we, we thought we were going to win the entire night, which is a good feeling. And last night, you were smiling about the offense. We, we created a monster, Megan. <laughs> created a monster. Off of free throws, uh, across the board. But you look at it, you know, part of our Achilles heel is sometimes at the end of the night, a team has seven, ten, twelve more shots than us. So to look now on the stat sheet and see we have 15 more shots than the other team, uh, there's something to it. I think we had some guys who really are pretty good at it, whether it's Kez or Utah or Dayron are pretty good at being around the basketball. Maybe we need to revisit our strategy a little bit. Talk about strategy. You're down 14. Um, I mean, obviously, it's tough to switch when you're missing switchable defenders. Yeah. You guys haven't really dropped in years, it seems like. So did you just talk about the, the effectiveness of that zone with the cast out in front? Yeah, so it, it, we, we really saved it, Brian. We didn't want to give it to them uh, before halftime so they could adjust to it at halftime. So we kept it in our back pocket. Uh, and a little bit of a surprise attack and uh, gave us some legs a little bit, uh, slowed them down, uh, kept us in front of the basketball, and we were actually able to rebound out of it, which a lot of times that's the challenge of zone. Uh, and then we mixed it up on them when they went to their zone package. We were able to go zone to man, back to zone, back to man, and create um, you know a little bit of agitation for them. Uh, we wanted to be the aggressors, and uh, the zone allowed us to do that. Yeah, you talk about having a weapon what Cam did in the fourth quarter, I think, uh, maybe like 19 or 18, I don't have a problem. What he it's a, it's a great feeling. Like, um, he didn't play the third and um, had no thought that he wasn't going to get busy and go at it in the fourth quarter. Like, that's just who he is. And uh, we're able to play him in pick and roll, pin downs. And then we just went, go get a bucket, ISO. Uh, we're not going to turn it over in that situation. I think you're going to get us a good look. Good free throw shooter. Uh, and then he does have the ability to pass the ball and play make. So we're going to keep growing with him and uh, keep challenging him. But uh, we, we know we have someone that, uh, at the end of the day, can get a bucket. Jarvis, what is it about him that allows that confidence so high, no matter what's going on? Well, the great thing, he exudes it. I think he works on his game, for one. Uh, I've always felt that um, some encouragement to him. Uh, guiding him in the right direction, believing him is huge. Um, and, you know, I said to him yesterday that uh, you're probably going to get a lot of minutes tonight. Uh, it turned out to be that way. I have full trust that he's going to make plays, and I think that goes a, lot, a long ways with guys. You, uh, I mean, I've, we've talked ad nauseum about the offensive rebounding. I mean, that's whatever day they does, that's probably yeah. his greatest attribute. His yeah. offensive rebound. Um, is he making a case, stating a case to get more time, considering the struggles you guys have had in the offensive rebound? Yeah, Brian, I think uh, what he is doing is, and, and I tell him, you you just want to be on the minds of the coaches. Of When they're thinking about who we're going to put in, you want to be in, in that sentence. And uh, he, he's there. What he does, I think, which helped him in this game was it's the offensive rebounds compared to the fouling. And so I think he was in a great position tonight. He got a couple fouls called against him that were pretty tough, but he's learning how to be in the right place. So that balance of him bringing us offensive rebounds, also protecting the rim, and being an enforcer for us on the defensive end of the floor. So good balance, but uh, great growth from him. And speaking of growth, they run sharp and what he was able to do, not just offensively, but also getting those offensive yeah, rebounds. Yeah, yeah. You know, we challenged him tonight to uh, to help our, our paint 
uh, to come over and you saw him make plays at the rim, block shots, just be a deterrent, um, be vertical at the rim for us. Um, he's a guy that can com communicate. And when you have a backline defender who can communicate, that's pretty impressive. He's a young, young dude. He's still learning the speed and, and where to be and for us to throw different things at him tonight and uh, for him not to get flustered and have poise uh, was, was great to see.